It's great to be back. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for Coach Johnson to uh, allow me the opportunity to be, be back uh, in this role. Uh, it is something that uh, Coach and I have, have talked to the last few years at different times about trying to find a scenario or different potential opportunities. And um, I can tell you I was all in, ready to go at any time. And for this to happen right now uh, is extremely exciting. So honored to be back. And also the chance to work alongside uh, this amazing coaching staff and support staff that we have. Um, certainly coming off a national championship, but I know that this is what LSU is about. It's about being the best. And this, even being here in the limited time that I have in the last few weeks, this staff that Coach Johnson has put together, coaches, support staff, everybody, is the best of the best. And you sit there um, as part of that staff, and it's kind of, I call it the sponge effect. Soak it in, you know, and you're learning too, and let it out when you need to. And I'm trying to do as much of that as I can. So it's really, it's an honor to be around all of these guys and be back. Um, I told several people, I says, it's amazing. Uh, Bill said 15 years. I can tell you this, it does not seem like it. Um, and I tell people I was only here for two years, but honestly, it seems like I was here for 10 years in a very positive way. Um, and the other day we were around coach and several alums and, and I was trying to get my arms wrapped around, you know, why is that? You know, after two years, truly, it seemed like I was here for 10 and it's very easy. It's about the people. It's absolutely about the people, not just the players in the program, the coaches, the administration, Baton Rouge, the community. Um, and obviously, you know, at that time, back then, um, it was a, a a special turnaround, so to speak, you know, in what we did in, in, in a relatively short amount of time. And I think those bonds and those relationships, um, as you hope as a coach, is something that'll be with you forever. You know, because as a coach, although I'm not in a coaching role right now, I don't. I think it's irrelevant. No matter what role you're in in collegiate athletics, you should be in coaching for one reason, and that's the impact of the lives of young kids. You know, and if when you're impacting their lives, there's so many different ways of doing it. Uh, and I feel like in those two years that I was here, um, hopefully we made an impact on them, but they certainly made it on me. Um, so the opportunity to come back here um, and work alongside this coaching staff and for Coach Johnson is something that uh, I can tell you what, I wake up every single morning absolutely excited and ready to go and, and help to continue um, to do what I can to recruit um, many of the best players in the entire country to come to LSU uh, from that and so very excited to be here glad to answer any questions Koki Riley with the advertiser uh, coach what kind of, did you have any sort of conversations with coach Maneri when it came to this position and and how did that sort of dynamic work out when it came to coming back um, obviously yeah, I'm, I'm I, I did. I, I did talk to Coach Maneri. Um, I did not talk to him until after I accepted the position. To be honest with you, um, yeah, we were, it was. Um, it, it took a little, it, you know, took a little while. But I will tell you this, um, Coach Maneri, I consider and tell you, I'm proud to say, is is, you know, is my mentor. You know, without any question, I certainly would not be in the position I am right now, or the positions I've had the opportunity. Uh, to be in over my career without his mentorship. There's no question. Um, certainly, as everybody knows, a, a, a great coach, uh, a great person, um, and, and took me really, uh, you know, took me under his wing in many ways and learned so much from him, not just as a coach, um, you know, how to run a program, how to run a coach, but how to treat people. And I can tell you, you know, one of the things um, that you learn um, as you continue to move on, and I've seen it every single day, I think in my three to four weeks, um, you know, being here at LSU um, with Coach Johnson, and he and I had an opportunity to be in California together uh, for really about a week and a half. We were out, out recruiting, and I was looking forward to that, to be honest with you, when I, when I accepted the job here, um, and Coach Johnson told me about uh, you know, where our schedule was going to be, the chance to be, with, to be with Jay for about two weeks out there and talk about players and get a feel of everything was fantastic. But my point being is this, the one thing that I've learned, um, I've always seen it from the outside of, of coaching and recruiting against coach, but now that I'm here, and it's the same thing that I've heard from Coach Bertman, the same thing I experienced you know, for five years with Coach Maneri, and the same thing I've seen in the last month with Coach Johnson, is it's all about the players. It's all about the players. That every single decision I know that we will make as a staff collectively 
um, coming from Coach Johnson. It's all about the players. Is what can we do to put them in a situation to be as successful as they can be, number one, um, and number two, allow them to have the best possible experience they can have at LSU, both on and off the field, right? So they can fulfill their two goals, two main goals baseball-wise, is hopefully put ourselves in position, put them in position to win another national championship, number one, and number two, develop to be the best possible player they can be, and hopefully reach the major league. So uh, again, proud, proud of my relationship with Coach Mary, great friend, great person, great mentor, um, and again, to be a part of that um, tradition is an honor. Yeah, Van, the advocate. Um, I was first wondering if you could elaborate maybe on your history with Coach Johnson and then also what you like about being in this director of recruiting role. Yeah. Our history goes, you know, I was, um, when I was thinking about it a while ago, you know, Coach and I have, um, from a recruiting standpoint, just really throughout the years, um, you know, we went against each other on a few occasions, but I think really from afar, and I don't want to speak for Coach, but certainly for myself, the level of respect is, is at the highest level. And when I tell you that, I couldn't wait to work for him. He can probably tell you a few more of the stories and the text messages that I sent this guy. Um, but I, I, was, I was adamant. I mean, honestly, the opportunity to work for Coach w was like I've been treated as recruiting, but he, I think he knew how sincere I was in, in h helping him do what he can you know, to continue to build this program. And uh, so point being is that really started on the recruiting standpoint from when he was at you know, the University of San Diego and certainly did what he did there. I think at that time we were, it was similar. He was at San Diego. I think then I was at Notre Dame and LSU. We always kind of crossed paths. And I think it really probably took an even bigger turn um, when uh, Coach was at the University of Arizona and I was at the University of Houston. We actually played um, two series um, against each other um, out there. And um, I, I think after that, it was a little bit more of a heightened awareness um, I think of what each other did, and, and I think our relationship is really kind of built on there. But from afar, I can tell you um, certainly the level of respect um, that I had from a recruiting standpoint, from a program building standpoint, even when he was an assistant coach was there. And I just knew, although we didn't know each other tremendously at that time, I just felt that there was something between us, a lot of similarities, you know, um, in, in what we do. My wife actually says that too. She says, I've never seen you speak you know, I mean, as, as, as in the way, even before you hired me as you did with Coach Johnson. I, said, I just feel like there's so similarities, I think, in the way that um, we look to uh, attack the day, so to speak. So um, from that end. Hey, Coach Jacques Doucet, hey, WAPT. Very, very cool to have you back. Thank you. Um, when you were a coach here, your players in 07 and 08 described you as a relentless worker, recruiter, and kind of what you just alluded to. At, is how people describe Jay. So do you feel this is a kind of a per perfect working partnership? I really do. I, I really do. I, I, I believe it. And although you said, and I appreciate you saying that, um, and I know it's somewhat cliche to say, but I, I really don't view it as work. I mean, really, it's like we all talk about we're very fortunate to love what we do, and I do love it, you know. I will say to, to get back to this level, which is the highest level of college baseball, the best, the best program in college baseball, um, is something that I've, been, that I've been trying to do, but also something that I, you know, I believe I was meant to do to be quite honest, you know. I know that um, recruiting has changed, so to speak, and then the dynamics of recruiting have changed, I mean, as much as within the last year or two. Thus, I think it's one of the reasons that, you know, Jay's created this position with, you know, the NIL, the transfer portal, so many different variables going into it, um, you know, from that end. But yes, I, I think that my experience, um, along with, I think, some of the uh, personality traits, per se, that you might talk about, um, I think makes a great match and, and hoping that will continue moving forward. Uh, from the from in afar, before he took this position, what do you think made Jay such an, eff an effective recruiter? Relentless, number one. You know, number one, I'll tell you this, it's, it's two things. Um, certainly, and from afar, of competing against him, um, and we did really, as recently as uh, when I was at the University of Houston and Arizona and some junior college kids, certainly the relentlessness, the intensity, but it comes down to this, and Coach is the best at this. He's the best head coach in the country. He's the best recruiter in the country. And I sit here and I can tell you that without any hesitation on both fronts fronts, that he's the best at both. And it's about relationships, you know, and it's about the people. And having witnessed that firsthand now for the last three to four weeks, it's evident that it's about the people, it's about the kids, and it's about the relationships. And I think in recruiting, um, you know, you look at it, re recruiting, some people view it as selling. 
you know, selling. I don't think it's selling. I think you're trying to inform them, this is what we are, and let's hope it's a great fit. And when you're trying to inform people on LSU, the history speaks for itself. But it still comes down to relationships, um, simply because of the unbelievable history of this program, the greatest program in the history of college baseball, and what Coach Bertman built. Um, Recruits aren't just going to show up here, you know, just because of that. And I tell people all the time, that's going to show up here because of uh, somebody's effervescent personality. You know, it's like it's not going to be it. There's more to it. There's a lot more that goes into that. So you have to have knowledge of what you're trying to recruit them to, which I feel like I have, not just from the past, but currently. And then you need to have that relationship for them to understand, can I achieve all my goals here? of winning another national championship. One, of two, putting myself in position to be a great professional player. And then three, it's about the people. And I know that's the number one thing uh, that Coach talks about within our program, that it's always going to be about the players. Hey, Terry, uh, Glenn Weska, 247. Um, can you just talk about what the recruiting duties look like in terms of divvying them up with Coach Jordan? I know that he's a big part of the recruiting process as well as Coach Johnson and everyone on staff. Just what, what does that look like for you in terms of developing with him? No question. As I alluded to a prior, you know, the, the, the chance to certainly work with Coach Johnson and our staff, as I said, and Coach Jordan, I will tell you, uh, the chance to work with him and he and I, I will tell you, it's a, it's a non-stop, continuous text message, phone calls. Uh, I was going until about 12.30 last night, he and I going back and forth. Um, he is on so many of the qualities and attributes that I spoke about with Coach Johnson from a recruiting standpoint. Boy, Coach Jordan has every single one of them. And it's a, a history shows that you know you are who you are and what he has done throughout his career the best of the best, you know, the best assistant coach recruiter in college baseball, what he has done, not just in his time here at LSU, but what he did at Duke, Appalachian State, and all of his stops. So, um, you know, I think for me, really my job is to assist wherever I can, you know, in, in, in any dynamic that I can do. Um, you know, it's, there, there's, there's no job, uh, so to speak, no task that I'm not willing to do. My job is to assist all of these guys in any area that I can, and that's really what we're doing with Coach Jordan. Um, you know, so I think it's going to be a little bit of everything. Right, it's evaluation. Uh, number one, it's recruitment. It's all of those areas. So, and I think the positive is this, and I think Coach will talk about could could probably touch base a little bit more on it. The position because it's new, Coach has created it, um, and we're just moving into it. It's somewhat fluid, meaning that I think there's some different variables that can happen as we're trying to figure it out. As a matter of fact, we were talking about this morning about eight o'clock. Eight o'clock this morning, some of the things that we're trying to accomplish. Number one, but how do we do that? So it's a little bit of a combination. But yes, to work with Coach Jordan um, in his recruiting prowess and what he's done, very honored to do it. Hey, Terry. Matt Moscone, ESPN Baton Rouge. A little bit along with Glenn was saying, what were the conversations like with you and Jay about? Because this is, is a new position that's been created, what it'll look like. And also, uh, this, this place physically wasn't here last time you were here. Thoughts on you know, the, the facilities? The facilities are incredible. You know, I was um, I saw a coach over there, Mr. Potiff, and um, you know, not to go too far deep into it, but you're right. My last year here was the was the last game ever played. You know, in the old Alex Box game three of the Super Regional, still probably the greatest experience I've ever had in collegiate athletics. I think about it all the time. I think what was it, three back to back to back home runs in the bottom of the first and. I remember I just kept sitting there. I said, man, we just, we, just, we just put up some zeros. Just put up some zeros. Yeah, I remember in my mind doing that. But certainly that, that was an awesome opportunity. I, we actually came back here, um, ironically enough, the very next year um, when I left LSU um, to accept the head job at uh, UCF, we came back here and played the very next year. And it, total, total just irony of the, of the situation, um, meaning you know, scheduling is done in college baseball well in advance, kind of like probably football and basketball if it's that far out. But the weekend series are done two or three years in advance. And I remember Coach Maneri and I were saying, let's just cancel. We don't need to play. And of course, you know, I'm the young, let's go. Yeah, we're playing, you know. And it was not good. It was not the advantage Tigers that weekend, I can tell you that. But um, I also remember this is kind of a great story, Matt. I also remember at that time, and it shows you what LSU and how it's viewed even on the outside. I remember I told my athletic director who just hired me that year, I told him, I said, I'm going to be the most, most least low maintenance coach you'll ever have. So if I come to you, and I ask you for something, it's going to be important. So I'll never be in your office. So I remember I walked in there right around Christmas. And I looked at him and he said, I said, hey, I have my first request. And he said, all right, sit down. You know, let's say I hadn't asked him for anything. I said, I want you to come when we go to LSU. I said, I want you to come on the trip because I want you to see what it's about. 
I said, I want you to see what college baseball is about. I want you to see what the best of the best is. And he saw it that weekend, you know. So I saw it firsthand from that end. But you're right, the facilities are, are, are it. Everything is here. Um, as everybody knows, everything is here for our players and this team, as shown last year with what Coach Johnson did, not only for the program to be the best it can be, but for the players to be. You know, I know there's a difference. Uh, it goes together, but a team and a program. Every single year, a team has the opportunity to be the best, and that's why this program is sustained, you know, without any question.